The Fourth Habit of the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey says that there are four situations that people typically engage in. The first is lose-lose. And an example of a lose-lose situation would be uh, there was this guy and he wanted to divorce his wife. And, uh, and the court decided that they would split whatever they had. And the guy was so upset at his wife that he didn't want her to have anything. So he sold his $50,000 car for $25. And she ended up getting twelve fifty out of that situation. And he ended up getting twelve fifty. And if you look at both of the people, they both basically lost. And this is a lose-lose situation. There's also a lose-win situation, which is saying that you lose... But the other person wins. And a lot of people that have this kind of mentality think, if I can't win, then I think someone else should. should. It, should be, it would be right if someone else would win if I can't. And this would be an example of like raffle. If you take a look at a lot of people, they go, oh, I've, I've never won a lottery or I've never won a raffle. But at least the money is going somewhere. And these are the type of people, these are lose-win thinkers. Another example of a situation would be a win-lose and an example of this is saying, the only way I can win is if you lose. And a lot of uh, business marketers think this way. They think that they have to cut down their competition so that they can win. If you look at schools, schools actually, to be in the top 10%, which is a prestigious rank, to be in the top 10%, everyone else has to be in the lower 90, which means the only way you can win is if they lose. And this is an example of win-lose situation. And a lot of people that engage in this type of deals have the mentality of scarcity mentality, which is the idea that there's only enough for me or you, not for both of us. Which means I want to win, and I'm going to win, and you're going to lose. And you should try to avoid hanging around these people just like you should try to avoid lose-lose people, because they will bring you down. And the fourth situation that Stephen Covey mentions is one that is very profitable for both parties. It is the win-win situation. And you need to understand that there is something called the abundance mentality, which is the opposite of the scarcity mentality, and says that there's enough to go around. Everyone can benefit. These are the type of situations that you want to find yourself in. Let's take, for example, a brick company. They only produce bricks. And with bricks, you can't really do much. You can use them as uh, paperweights by themselves, but you can't do much with them just as a, with a brick. And then there is also a glue company, a mortar company, and that's all they make is mortar. You can't do much with just mortar. So what they do is the companies come together. The brick and the mortar, they come together and they build a house. And with the combination of both of these, both companies profit. The brick and the mortar company split the profits and they both win. This would be an example of a great win-win situation. So habit four is think win-win. You need to try to find as many win-win opportunities as you can. And if you watch the next video, Habit 5, you'll find out how to increase these opportunities. So let's review. Make sure you can find a way that both parties win. Try to stay away from lose-lose thinkers, because these will only bring you down. And know that there is enough for everyone. There's enough stuff in the world that everyone can share. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.